How it's made money in factories. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel How It's Made. Money is something that most of us deal with every day. In present days, most things are driven by money. Although we're in an era where digital currency has taken over the world, physical money still remains an important part of our day-to-day -day life. Ever wondered how these physical commodities are made? Today on How It's Made, we will take you through the journey of manufacturing undoubtedly the most wanted product on Earth, money. Stay with us till the end of the video to know everything about physical currency notes. A brief history of money. To start with, let's travel back about 1,400 years to the 7th century where evidence of the first banknote-like instrument was seen in China during this era. But true paper money was introduced almost 400 years later in the 11th century during the Song Dynasty in China. Explorers and merchants from the West took this concept and introduced it to Europe and other parts of the world and thus paper money started gaining popularity. By the end of the 18th century, almost the whole world had adopted the concept of paper money in place of exchanging metals for trade. Till now, we have seen numerous iterations and additions making the process more and more complicated to ensure security and prevent forgery. Did you know that almost all countries have their own unique forms of security for their notes? Just like earning money is not a very easy job, the same goes for making money. Printing money in the factory is not a simple task at all. It includes a long list of processes that are done by both humans and robots. Material Most currency notes are made from paper, but modern day currencies also include polymer banknotes. Paper money is not made of simple paper that's derived from wood pulp, but it is made of cotton paper mixed with about 20% of linen, abaca, or some other textile material to make it much more resilient and resistant to wear and tear. To add more strength to the currency notes, they are infused with polyvinyl alcohol or gelatin instead of water, which is used in common paper. Polymer notes were in fact first introduced as a material for currency all the way back in the 80s. But in its early days, polymer notes saw various problems such as fading of the ink, etc. and could not be continued. A few years later, after a significant amount of research and development, Australia came up with polymer banknotes and this time without any problem. Since then, more countries have started using polymer banknotes. Did you know that in the early 2000s, it came to light that in some cases, the cost of manufacturing these polymer notes was actually more expensive than the value of the currency itself? Interesting, isn't it? Now, let's delve into the manufacturing process. Step 1. Design and Engraving The process of making money doesn't start only with the raw material, but from the design stage itself. In the United States, these notes are hand-designed by extremely talented artists and designers and the master die is hand-cut by engravers. Yes, you heard it right, these notes are hand-cut. Engravers cut the master die on soft steel by hand using various tools. Every time the treasure of the country changes, the signatures are engraved by hand using various references. Step 2. Creating the master printing plate once the master plate is done, it is then inspected, heated and a thin plastic sheet is pressed into it to get a raised impression of the full design and then the die is kept in the storage. Using the plastic also further processes are followed to manufacture the master printing plate which is used for the printing purpose. Different countries have unique processes for their currency designs which combine various elements to increase security. Step 3. Paper Manufacturing As we already mentioned, banknote papers are not common writing papers. Different countries manufacture their banknote papers in different ways. Mixing cotton pulp with other fiber materials is in most cases an in-house paper manufacturing process. During this process of addition of security, threads come into the picture. Security threads are the ribbon-like feature that is very commonly seen on most paper currencies. Its main purpose is to protect the note from counterfeiting. Usually, it runs vertically and is woven into the paper. So when seen from one side, it is seen only at some places, but when it's held against light, a continuous line is seen. These security threads can be made of different materials, starting from metal to plastic and also come in various widths and colors. These embedded threads sometimes even have microprintings and also features such as fluorescing under ultraviolet light, etc. Security threads and watermarks on the banknote during the paper manufacturing process are the two most common features that help the general public recognize original currency notes. Step 4. Printing Processes Next, we have the printing process. If you think money can be printed in just one go, we are sorry to inform you that you are not even close to being right. Currency notes are printed in multiple layers depending on the color and design. We will tell you about three of the most common printing processes that are done on currency notes. To start with, we have offset printing. Offset printing. 
This is the first layer of printing that is done on the in-house manufactured paper. The background design is the first thing that gets printed using dry offset. It is done on a specially designed printing press that can print very high precision color patterns on both sides of paper simultaneously. This process not only prints perfect front and back registered designs or see-through designs, but also acts as a layer of security against counterfeiting. The precision of the print makes it extremely difficult to make duplicate copies. It is both efficient and safe and is followed by intaglio printing. Intaglio printing Unlike offset printing, intaglio printing is quite a new process. This type of printing process is used to add prints of various portraits and also other designs that are supposed to be slightly raised from the surface. The desired design that is to be printed is inscribed onto the plate. The rotating master plate is first coated with ink and then a wiper removes any excess ink on the surface of the plate. Ink is left to stay only inside the engraved recesses of the design. The already offset printed sheet is then fed into the press where it passes through the master plaster cylinder and a very hard and smooth impression cylinder under enormous pressure reaching about 15,000 psi. This huge pressure forces the paper into the engraving on the printing plate and picks up the ink and also gives a raised imprint of the design. It is raised by about 0.02mm from the surface giving a tactile feel to touch. These printing specifications are not only to create finer designs but each of these printing techniques helps to increase security against counterfeiting. About 10,000 sheets can be printed per hour using this printing technique. This is followed by the third and final printing process which is letter press printing. Letter press printing. A thorough inspection is done at every level of currency printing and only the perfect ones make it to this process of printing serial numbers and signatures using the letter press method. Special systems are put into place to avoid any sort of mistakes from this level onwards, especially with the serial numbers for the notes. All the notes that get rejected before this process are destroyed to avoid any kind of misuse. Did you know that the $1 bill has had an unchanged design for over 50 years now and is also one of the highest printed banknotes in the United States? After all the printing is done, another thorough inspection takes place. Step 5. Cutting and Packaging Process the sheets are put into stacks of 100 and cut into 16 different stacks of 100 bills at a time using the vertical guillotine knife. Each of the stacks of 100 notes is wrapped in the paper band. After another final visual inspection, these stacks are shrink-wrapped with plastic in bundles of 10. Four of these bundles are wrapped together to make a brick. These bricks are carefully loaded and off they go to various reserve banks and other agencies from where they are handed over to the public. Although with technological advancements we are moving towards digital money, physical money will always have its value. With newer technologies and techniques, paper money is becoming more and more difficult to be counterfeited. But it's always a safe option to check your money before taking it from someone, especially if it's of higher value. Both forms of money that are digital and physical have their own advantages and disadvantages. Digital money has made large transactions very convenient, while on the other hand, physical money can be accessed by all and doesn't need a special device or a card for transactions. Both forms, if used properly, can make people's lives much more convenient and easy. What did you think of the printing process? How can physical currency be made safer with advancements in technology? Let us know in the comments section down below. And that's all for today. I hope you liked our video and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, do subscribe to our channel as we bring you more interesting videos about how things are manufactured. Press the bell icon button to get regular updates about our new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.